Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back. Jamie here today with Georgia and we're going to be discussing Dexter New Blood episode 1, which just aired today. But, like, before we get into it, obviously it's going to be a spoiler review, but this is, I guess you call it a reboot, wouldn't you, I guess, of the series. Dexter originally ended in 2013 and that last season was so, <laughs> oh my god, I'm so glad they're, like, doing this again because that was a bad way to end, wasn't it? Oh, it was awful. Awful way to end it. <laughs> So like I said, it's it made me so angry. Everything, like even the location's different because Miami was dead hot. This is like they call it Iron I Lake, love, New York. I love the uh, the new setting, the new locations. Yeah, definitely. It's in just completely season. flipped in it. Mm, so it starts off with um the song I forgot the name. It's Passenger in it or whatever. Dex is running through the woods on in um that day throughout the whole episode. Really, in there. It went right into the action. I think. Like, there was no, like, usually with a new season, especially 10 years later, it's, like, recap on the last season. Like, it didn't, it didn't do that. It went straight into the action, which I liked. The opening is changed completely because in the original, it was his morning routine, wasn't it? And this, it's just, like, I think it was it just quick cuts of the whole episode. I didn't, I couldn't really tell, but it was just basically, like, five seconds of shots, wasn't it? It definitely, it's not like the original though. The original, no, opening, no. nothing like that. <laughs> His mm. new name's uh, Jim Lindsay in it, and that's a, the original book writer was called Jeff Lindsay, so it's like a little tribute to him. And um, mm. he's got a new girlfriend, and it seems like Dexter gets a lot of girlfriends throughout the series. I mean, I mean, I I introduce the word, I she pulls mean. him over, and they, they have sex in the back of the car, don't they? Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. back up, back up, back what, up. What, what, what? I'm going off my notes here, boy. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm just, I wrote them down, what was your note? Go on, what? All right, the fir first five minutes of the episode, it shows how it establishes his life, it establishes how he's been able to survive this whole time, mm. where he lives, how he's been like under the radar for so long. Hence the new setting, hence the new way he lives, you know, everything like that. Yeah. We then get introduced to his sister. You know, they could have just retconned the entire thing, really, if they wanted to, but I'm glad, you know, they're keeping what happened, happened. And then what we see happen is he opens up this leather case, not a case, a leather satchel type thing that's got a load of hunting knives in it. That recalls to mm. the knives he had. In previous seasons i liked that symbolism yeah they're not his knives it, no they're not his knives but at first i thought they were but he ends up giving them yeah. away don't know which yeah you've but, no he doesn't give them away no i mean it's for someone else in it he's, done he's it for someone sharpening else. the knives for the butcher in town yeah yeah he, he works inside a hunting shop now doesn't he? and he yeah. brings in the donuts like he used to to work in the uh police station well they're not really donuts, but you know the sweets aren't they but i don't think the donuts but yeah they're close enough um, I've got to say, I think they had too many songs aside this episode. You know, actual songs, I mean, like, yeah. it seems like there was quite a few of them. But uh, in the scene where he's driving his his truck with the car behind him, mm. the song in it, and there's a line in the song called The Devil Is Jew. Yeah, and he's already got a girlfriend or lover who we later find out is a mother. Already has mm. kids, which is like... A callback to the very first season. Who does he fall for? Rita. Yeah. Who's got kids? Mm. Obviously, this is the first episode, but I just gotta say right now, like, it's hard to replace those characters from, like, you know, Masuka and Batista and all that. Yeah. Maybe we'll end up liking his character. But right now, I just, you know, they're just met. I don't him, feel, but... I don't feel anything towards anyone in this new season as of yet. Obviously. Yeah, Part obviously, of Dexter. Yeah. But it's hard to, you know, like I said, because of the, the old character. I hope we see some. I mean, it'd be kind of hard, though, but I don't know. If they can work Masuka in some hard, really like <laughs> But much like his character in past seasons, he comes across as a friend to everyone. Dexter, because Dexter is a friend to everyone in the yeah. town. He was a friend to everyone in the police station where he was at. In previous seasons and now he's a friend of the town everyone knows him every he's walked down the street and everyone's like you're right jimmy and all of that <laughs> that's him keeping his cover as well though isn't it it's yeah and stuff. yeah because his dad told him in the first season you gotta like make friends and make sure you got a good cover and all that so has the mm. fascination with killing he is drawn to the blood that the butcher is you know he's the butcher's butchering up a pig oh yeah he's, he's fascinated by that blood 
he's, he's like fixated on the blood and you can just see that the character is still in there but it's got a mask on at the moment hmm. speaking like of which that. the uh map comes into the store and a rich kid who's looking for a gun and yeah. that starts testing Dexter, don't it? Because you can tell straight away he wants to, you know, do something about this guy. He wants to buy the nine grand gun. Mm -hmm. And Dexter says he needs ID. Yeah, and then he does yes. the background check. He does background checks. Everyone who buys a weapon is going to kill something or someone at some point. Yeah. Therefore, he already knows the ID of people... And if something goes a bit iffy in the town, he's like, right, I can go through all this list of people who've bought weapons. Another thing that links into that is that he's friends with the police department. But we slowly find out this kid's been, or this kid, I say kid, but he's like 30 something. And fucking, <laughs> he's got some, he's done something in the past and, and what was it, five people got killed or something on the boat accident. Yeah. Um, he takes the gun to Matt's house, doesn't he, to drop it off? Yeah. And then that, his mate takes him upstairs to show him whereabouts he is. And then he goes inside the bathroom because Matt's in there with his girlfriend or something. Uh, Matt's and he starts, in there with the other guy's girlfriend. Yeah, the other guy's what I mean. He's in there with his other guys. And he starts doing coke, don't he? And he starts laying out his troubles to Dexter. Yeah. <laughs> and then he goes, uh, do you know what they call me? And then Dexter goes, Bob. Oh. <laughs> it's just the way he said it. That was just classic Dexter. That I was just like, I don't want to be here. I yeah. just don't want to be <laughs> Yeah. I love that. Yeah, after we find out more about the uh, accident, don't we? And he's got a scar yeah. on his face. What did he say? It looks like a dick or something. Dick. You know what people call me? Dick face. Dick face. And yeah, like you said, the Dexter's just like Bill. <laughs> just no, very dry. Dick face. Just, yeah, just the way yeah. it. <laughs> and he also has that, uh, when he goes inside the room, doesn't he? he imagines hitting him with a fucking gun. Which yeah, he, he has. Later. Yeah, he just has like a flash of imagining, like absolutely smashing the face. Using that gun to smash in mm. that guy's face. And remind me of that, um, I forgot what season it was, but he's inside the uh, office and he just imagines like he kills someone and then he's just pulling the body through and everyone's like, you're right, Dexter. <laughs> 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 the body the Hooded figure is seen following Dexter around throughout the whole episode, really. Yeah. Well, throughout half the hep episode, I'd, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, because we see him first arrive, don't we? Someone gets off the yeah. Uh, bus. Yeah. And how did Harrison get from whoever whoever that woman is? I forgot now. Oh, Hannah. Hannah. Uh, yeah. How does he get from Hannah to, like, what's happened to Hannah? Yeah, because the last time we see them, they're in Paris, aren't they? No, Amsterdam, that's it. Amsterdam. Mm. So, I don't know, maybe he's... I guess we'll find more out about it throughout the season. But there's, there's the start of another storyline, another plot line is, like, how did Harrison get to be here? It's obviously, so Dexter arrives home and there's someone inside his house and it reveals to be Harrison. But Dexter, obviously, Harrison, even Dexter... Or... Not Harrison Ford. Deb's telling him as well, don't tell him who you are. Like, you know, yeah. like you said, he's, she goes through the list of people who've died. And she says, like, don't get close because, you know, everyone dies close yeah. to you. So he gives him the money, doesn't he? And he tells him to go on his way, basically. <laughs> yeah. Basically tells his own child to fuck off. Mm. To be fair, though, I mean, it, it is risky, but yeah. at the end of the episode, obviously, it's his son, and it? It's his own flesh and blood, so. Yeah. Harrison was like, you just like how I remembered you. And Dex was like, I, I must have one of those faces. I just have one of those faces, you know? <laughs> what we talked about before, he um, eventually goes to the day, don't he? And he holds out his hand. Yeah. And he gets shot. And if we find out it was Matt with that new gun. Well, he could have shot Dexter easily instead of shooting the day by oh, yeah. accident. That bit scared me. Uh -huh. Made me jump. Same. Because I was wondering what the fuck was going on. I thought he was going to start stroking the day and then boom, gunshot. No, it made Dexter seem more human. Like yeah, petting true. Like petting the stag and then... Um, Even at the beginning of the episode, he seemed like dancing with the fucking animals he's got and stuff. He, yeah, he was like petting a goat and he was like, can you do a dance? Can you do a dance? <laughs> I was like, oh! So yeah, this time he actually hits Matt with a gun and knocks him out, doesn't he? I thought he was going to frame it to look like, because he starts cutting the day's head, doesn't he? So I thought he was going to get like the, what's yeah. called, the antlers. And I thought he was going to like make it look like an accident or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, thinking about it, I don't know why he drained the blood. I'm sure it's going to come back. It'll be some sort of framing thing. Maybe. Like to cover his tracks. Um, or is that the blood trail that we saw right at the end? Is it the Oh, maybe, blood? yeah. And he, he's made a trail and then he... But then he cut the body, or maybe yeah, the body's gonna disappear, though, isn't it? 
Um, because he caught the body up. Yeah, he he says if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this right. And, and he, he refers. The first rule. Yeah. Ref, he refers to the first rule. Yeah. Uh, what's the first rule? Don't get caught. There you go. And then he sets up his new, very small, very cramped. Still rooms, but still room. Yeah, and he smashes the uh, light on it to get the little glass for the. Uh, yeah, the I chocolate. thought there was a very creative and in the moment uh, way to collect his trophies. True, and it's also the glass is uh, cracked as well, so it's not like a perfect like it used to yeah. be. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's, that's good as well. I like. I really like that little touch. And uh, the guy wakes up. Yeah, and then this is like classic Dexter. Like he taps on his head, don't he? Like he usually does. And yeah. He's like, you know, just own it. Admit what you've done. Yeah, he always wants a confession. Gets his confession. Gets his confession. And, and then, like you said before, he's like, I, I was a serial. No, I am a serial killer, basically. Yeah, it's it's not that I was. It's that I am. So obviously, it, it ends with him going to the bus stop to get Harrison before he leaves, doesn't it? You forgot the main line of the episode, though. Main what? Hello, Dexter Morgan. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, that was a callback to season four as well. You remember when Trinity comes into the office and he first meets Dexter? Oh, yeah. Because he goes, hello, Dexter Morgan, doesn't he? Because he used the old name, Kyle. I forgot what the fucking name was, but he used an alias. And he goes to get Harrison, hands him a yeah. coat. So yeah, he really basically, basically brings him back home, doesn't it? And then it ends with the uh, blood trail going from the house. But maybe you're right about that. Maybe it's like to cover his tracks with the uh, body or something. Maybe. But when Dexter brings Harrison back, um, Dexter talks about how Harry, his adoptive father, protected him and taught him and all of that stuff. And he says that he's going to do that for his son, Harrison. And the reason why I just realized, the reason why this, because that Matt who we killed, he says he didn't have a, he didn't have a good childhood, and his dad was never there. So that made Dexter realize, you know, I need to yeah. be there for Harrison, basically. Basically, but then also I thought, uh, does that mean Harrison's gonna become a serial killer like Dexter? I'm, I'm not saying he might have the urges, because even in the books he did as well. I'm, I'm not saying that that's a definite plot that they're going to, but it kind of opens up that door to. Because I don't know what happens in the next episodes. Oh yeah, I don't know. And I think it's, what, <laughs> 10 episodes, so, you know. And they're mm -hmm. like, what, 50 minutes each, so they're going to need some story to tell it, Kat. And obviously they're going to... Let's just jump into it now. What are your predictions for the season? What do you think is going to happen? Well, I always think back to the trailer, because there was that SWAT team. Or what looked like a SWAT team in the mm. trailer, wasn't there? But from that, oh. it, we thought they were hunting Dexter. Maybe they're not hunting Dexter at all. Maybe they're hunting something else. Well, don't know, but um, there was there was that in the trailer that that's all, that's always stood out for me because, I mean, it's only really in the final season, well, not this season, the season before, that Dexter's kind of running away and people are looking for him. Yeah, but in a season two, they were after the Bayard Butcher and he yeah, came but close he was, to getting caught. He, he always comes close to getting caught, but like, there's never a SWAT team, was there? Nah, true. That, that that SWAT team makes me scared. <laughs> Did we um? Do you know Matt, the prick who he kills? Yeah. He talks about his dad being powerful. Did we ever find out what his dad does? If he does this, his dad's like powerful and he'll like rain down shit on him and stuff In, like that. Uh, the impression I got from that was that maybe his dad's the lawyer, because his dad has to be rich to be, because he he can afford a nine grand gun. He has mad parties he can afford cocaine weed and drugs and unless that uh when they're doing that climate change thing and they've shut down the tavern aren't they maybe that was his dad uh, it could be do you think he'll get caught at the end or do you think he'll escape or do you think he'll die well i don't know what's going to happen to we are talking about dexter right yeah, now yeah dexter yeah i mean your prediction what do you, how do you think the season ends i don't know i hope it doesn't end the same way it ends or a similar way to how it ends mm. last season. Because yeah, if they just redo that again, I'm going to cry. The writer of this who wrote the first four, he said his original idea back then, before he left, was to have him get caught. He's inside the electric chair. And just before he dies, he like he sees all the people who he's killed and stuff like that. I'm going to go with he gets killed, but he saves Harrison in a process or something like that. 
Or does Harrison kill him? It could do that. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. You've got nine episodes to sell Harrison being a killer, though. I don't know. But you've got ten years of Harrison building his own character away from well, Yeah, Dexter. but how old do you think? He's like 19 now or something. Not even that, is it? Overall rating, what would you give this first episode out of ten? Eight. I, I was going to say eight as well. My only problem with it was like the we got the soundtrack towards the end, the original, because that soundtrack is so good, the original soundtrack. Yeah. And the character, obviously, it's the first episode, so we barely know him, but the original characters are so hard to replace. Yeah, they are. I think there's so many callbacks to the past seasons in this one episode, mm. which is good. I also think you're straight into the action because. You have to admit, all the shows would have made you wait two, three episodes before Dexter Morgan comes out. Oh yeah, definitely. Some but, shows won't even show the first kill. It'd probably end on them like knocking the guy out or something. Like that. Yeah, it goes through everything it needs to in one episode, which I find really good. I didn't have to wait until the next episode mm. or the next one after that. Which gives us hope because obviously that means there's a lot of story to tell if they're not dragging out his first kill in, what, ten years? They've literally got straight to it, so now where do we go from here? But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Next week, we'll be reviewing episode two. Make sure you check out George's Twitch inside the description down below. Oh, wow. Until next time, <laughs> click like and subscribe if you're new. And, uh, I don't. <laughs>